Hello and welcome to Tabla Talks. My name is Kuljit Bamra. I'm a record producer, composer and a musician. And in this episode, I'd like to talk about the idea of notating music. Uh, and I'm very delighted to announce the release of my new book, which is Read and Play the Doldrum. And this is a follow up to my previous book, which is Read and Play the Tabla Drum. And these books have become very, very successful, actually, in the UK. Um, and there are schools in Portsmouth in England now using these books. And the Birmingham uh, Music Hub is also now using the Dole book. And the advantage of writing music down, especially drumming music, is that people can understand the rhythms of Dole and Tabla straight away. It's a very simple system. And there is two lines that represent the notation. I'll just show you now. This is our tabla clef down here. And there are two lines. The top line is for the high drum and the bottom line is for the low drum. And in this book, I've written out simple rhythms like Bangra, Chal rhythm and uh, a Luggy rhythm. And anybody that can read very simple Western music notation can pick up the drum and play straight away. And I've done workshops in Birmingham where people have done that uh, to many, many other people's amazement because you wouldn't expect someone to pick up a foreign drum and play it straight away. But with notation, you can. Now, talking more about notation, um, I have had a few people come to me and say, you know, Kuljit, please do not notate Indian music. And uh, when I say, why is that? And they say, well, because you're going to take the magic away from the music. Now, I don't believe that that will ever happen because music is magical. It's an invisible force that you can't see, but you can, it can make you cry, it can make you laugh, it can make you dance. And that magic will never, ever go away. But what is missing for me is democratizing the idea of Indian music and allowing other people from other cultures to play Indian instruments. Now, Talking about the magic of music, let me try and draw an analogy for you. If you go to a restaurant to have a meal, the menu is not the food. So let me say that again. The menu is not the food. This is not the music. This is a way of understanding the music. This is certainly not magical or mystical, <laughs> but the musician that then reads this and converts this energy into a musical energy is the magician. So that magic will never, ever go away. Uh, anyway, so I'm very excited about um, democratizing Indian music and, and making this more accessible to other cultures. And certainly, uh, again, I'd just like to remind you of the humorous fact that the menu is not the food. So please let me have your thoughts, let me know what you think, and I look forward to hearing from you.